My name's Jan Sensier. I'm the Chief Executive of Healthwatch Staffordshire. We are a statutory body and we have the responsibility for monitoring health and social care across Staffordshire. January has been a very difficult month for the health and social care service in Staffordshire. We've heard a lot about the pressures on A&E. We know there are real capacity problems across the system and actually we know that at Stoke we have one of the worst performing, if not the worst performing trust in the country for patients having to wait more than 12 hours and that's called a breach and it really is a signal that the system is at capacity. And that capacity has caused real concerns particularly for the people in Stafford and the surrounding areas because at the same time as we're hearing all those stories we also know that some services are being moved from Stafford to Stoke. So a couple of weeks ago maternity services were moved and in a couple of weeks time acute surgery will move and gynaecology. I know that there are a lot of people who are really really anxious about those transfers happening at a time when capacity is such a problem at Stoke. And so I wanted to let you know what we've been doing about that at Healthwatch Staffordshire. There have been a lot of assurance meetings um, over the last few months to really examine the risks of moving those services. And I can assure you that I have been to all of those meetings and I have listened very carefully to what patients have told me, but also to what staff at the hospitals have told me and to what clinicians are saying. As a result of having attended all those meetings and having examined all the risk assurances that we've been given, I do feel that the balance of risk argues that services should be moved. That's a difficult message because I know many people in Stafford do not want to see those services going and I completely understand that. But it is true to say that since um, the problems that happened at Stafford Hospital many years ago now, it has been really, really difficult to recruit staff at the hospital. And so services there are very, very fragile. And actually it would only take one or two more staff to leave in some areas to cause even greater problems and potentially harm to patients. I'm told, and I have no reason to disbelieve it, that medical staff in particular do not want to work at Stafford. Unfortunately, the reputation that the hospital has, which is very sad and not at all deserving, given um, the massive improvements in quality there have been there, but that reputation makes it extremely difficult to recruit staff. So, therefore, the services are fragile. And yes, we all thought, didn't we, that when the two hospitals at Stoke and Stafford were merged, it would give us the opportunity for there to be clinical staff working across both sites. But actually, it's really difficult to staff up two rotors across both sites. And so, on the balance, the, the decision has been made to move services to one site, to centralise those services on one site, in order to assure patient quality and patient safety, which has to be at the heart of everything. That's really difficult for us to take here in Stafford, um, and I have really examined this question to look at whether or not this is the right thing to do, but I have been assured through all the processes that I've been to, through um, that it is the right thing to do. However, it doesn't stop there. We're responsible for monitoring the quality and patient experience that people have and also of other services across social care. And I have put out appeals to the public during this a &E crisis period to ask whether anybody has come to harm because of the long waits up at a &E in Stoke. And to date, we've had one or two come forward to tell us of problems they've experienced but, I have to say, not very many at all. We continue to ask for feedback from the public. What we have been told is that there have been patients who have had very poor experiences of having operations cancelled, and that's something else we continue to monitor. And I have just this morning been at a meeting where I've been told of the plans that are being put in place to put on extra lists to try and catch up on some of those operations that have been missed. And as I say, we will continue to monitor that and to make sure that that happens because we don't want to hear of patients having their operations cancelled once. 
when actually in the recent past some have been cancelled more than once and we know that's a real concern. Um, we're also going into A&E over the next couple of weeks. Our wonderful volunteers that we have here at Healthwatch Staffordshire are going to go into A&E for the next two weeks. They're going to talk to patients, they're going to talk to families and they're going to talk to staff and they're going to find out what the experience is like there but also what services people are using. How is the system working? Because this isn't just about what happens in A&E. This is about what happens um, in the community as well and across the whole system. So it isn't just about when you arrive at the doors of A&E in an ambulance or arrive yourselves. It's also about what happens in the hospital. It's what happens once you're ready to be discharged from the hospital, what care packages there are in place, um, and whether there's other community hospital beds, for instance, that are in place. So we're going to be finding out about all of that, and we're going to be asking people what they know about the other services that there are, like the 111 service, the walk-in centres, the GP out of hours service and we're going to be finding out how that is all working as a system and we'll report that back. Um, but in the meantime, if anybody has any concerns about the current situation, please do get in touch with Healthwatch Staffordshire. Here are the numbers that you need to ring if you want to get in touch with us or you can visit us at our website www.healthwatchstaffordshire.co.uk or you can actually on our website see that we have a place where you can leave your feedback, it's called Experience Exchange, just click on the button, find the service and leave your feedback, we'd love to hear from you.